So you want to make your own VR chat world, and you are intimidated by getting started or stuck somewhere in the process. Well, we're going to go through every step needed in a minimalistic fashion to get a world downloaded, installed, and published. We're not doing anything inside the world yet, we're just getting everything working. And at the end of this video, you'll be able to enter your world and even invite friends, and it's super simple. So first things first, head over to vrchat.com, log into your account, and make sure you're on basically just the home page here. Now from here, we're gonna go to, we need to go to downloads and download the creator companion. Now I used to make videos in the past and it was a little different, but we're gonna wanna download this creator companion and that'll handle the bulk of uh, work we have to, we used to have to do manually for us. Now, I'm not sure if you need to download this separately because I already had it, but we are going to need a Unity Hub. Download Unity Hub, it is free. I will have links in the descriptions for you all. Actually, I think you need to make an account on this, so just uh, do that. But it is free. So download Unity Hub, and then you're going to need to install Unity Hub and your VR Chat companion. And we're going to go to our Unity Hub first. And we are going to make sure we want this version of Unity. It is version 2022. 322F1. I'm assuming that's the release date. And then make sure we're up to date here. Which, if you just downloaded it and installed, it will be. Now, we are going to want to make a new project. So, you will be on this screen. It'll probably not have this here. And we are going to type in our project name. We're going to call it Hello World. And we are going to make a Unity 2022 world project and click Create Project. Now at this point, if you haven't updated, it'll ask you to update. So we're going to do that. Now that it's updated, we're going to go ahead and open the project. If everything is updated successfully and you launched your project, you should now arrive at our default template for a world. Uh, not very exciting, but it's a starting point. So right off the bat, if you just hit the play button, you can actually kind of demo the world. You're going to do a lot of troubleshooting this way. So you can kind of move around and jump and all that good stuff according to default template world settings. Uh, we can, we'll get to adjusting all of this, but for now, you can see it works. So if you press escape, we can just hit the play button again and uh, exit the run mode. So an important thing to note here is you'll probably get a warning the first time you go into the playtest. Is that it does sometimes work differently in that mode than it would in a live version so we want to build and run it at some point and you're going to want to select a folder that is not in this folder so a different folder we'll call this our hello or our world build and we can just go ahead and save and let it compile All right, so if you're like me and you uh, failed your build, what you need to do is go into your VR chat SDK at the top tab, go to show control panel, and you're going to have to log in. So give me one second to do that. Once you successfully log in, you should be greeted by this builder tab and we will enter our world name. Hello world. And we don't really need to do any of this at the moment. 
Um, you can just auto fix this if you have an error there. And we have to capture something, as it said. And now, if we get everything correctly, we should be good to build and publish. So let's try this again. All right, it uploaded it successfully this time. And uh, if we look over on the VR chat website. All right, so on the VR chat website on my account, we can see our world now exists. Now, this is not available to the public at this point, but it is available to you and via direct links. So for you and your friends, uh, a private world, so to speak. And that is probably the simplest guide I can make on how to just publish a world. We didn't go over anything on, in it. Uh, those will be in, you know, subsequent videos. I used to upload pretty complicated stuff, and you've probably seen some of the stuff I've made in VR chat uh, several years ago. I took a break, and I was working in Unreal Engine 5 as an indie dev for the last few years, and I want to come back and bring some of that stuff I've learned and actually made and bring it into VR chat as assets like I used to. So we will be doing guides and asset development again. Uh, thank you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.